Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here. April's here with me today. And uh, April and I do a weekly private together. She's a teacher here at Fusion. And um, so yesterday we were really working on her feet. She's an aerial artist and very, very flexible and has like a crazy point for her foot. But we're really trying to get her more neutral and organize her feet. So I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see. So we're going to have April start to press out and in. And, you know, we've been working on this. We worked on it yesterday, but I'm, I'm asking her to really try to forget about the cues that we went into and really f see what I was seeing yesterday, which is that she's kind of, she looks better than she did yesterday, but you can see she's losing her first metatarsal actually on both sides. Like they're not rolling in the opposite direction of the other ones, right? So she's putting uh, pressure on the pinky toe side and she's not getting that spiral in her foot. All right, so this is what um, I did for her yesterday. So the hand hold, I'm taking my right hand on the left inner arch of her foot. So my thumb is on top and my fingers are at her inner arch. And then my left hand, the, the cup of my palm is right on her heel. And so with quite a bit of force, I'm not, she's not in pain, but I'm directing her metatarsals over towards her big toe, right? So I'm asking her foot to do its natural spiral. And her heel wants to be everted. So I'm just giving her heel a little bit of an inversion, which means I'm lengthening her outer heel down to the floor. And what I usually tell people is that they're in charge of the alignment of their knee and their pelvis and that she really, I want her to keep her knee in line with her hip socket. Because with this amount of force that I'm doing on her foot, her, you know, her leg's gonna wanna go in and out, but she has to keep it in the center. All right, so here we go. And she's gonna inhale, good. And I'm just, of course, just because I don't have four hands, I'm just working on this one foot and she's doing really great with her pelvis. And when she comes in, I want her to really resist. Good. And I also want her to have this feeling like she's doming the top of her foot, right? So that she's spreading between those metatarsal heads. She can feel that she's equally into her big toe and her pinky toe without losing her inner arch. And then stay out there for one. Good. So this knee alignment on this side looks great. Um, <laughs> yeah, so she's already talking to her right leg. This one not so good, right? I don't think we have time in the video to look at the right leg, but you can see the difference here on both sides. Um, so slowly come back in and really, yeah, work that alignment of the knee. Good. And do a couple more. And just imagine my hand still on your foot. And, yeah, so this one is making me sad. So I'm just going to do a couple here. Good, and really keeping that knee alignment as you come in. So when she goes out, she really wants to hyperextend this left knee, and I want her to pay attention to that. Good, so hold in for a second, April. So come on in. So she's, she's really into this bowed position of this foot. Yep, and so I'm going to have her press out just a little bit, and I want you to hold. Good. And then I'm rolling her metatarsals towards the ball of her first toe. So that, that is going to mean she's going to really have to counter with her external rotators with the inner thigh upward, right? Okay, so now go out, but with control. 
good, and slowly in. Yeah, and she has to do the right amount, right? Because we want that knee to stay in center. And I'm actually, I mean, I'm working hard to create this spiral. Good, we're gonna just do two more, and I want you to really feel the ball of your big toe, April. Good with your knees. You, do you feel right at the end how you kind of spiral and collapse? Like that is like how you create your extension right there at the end. You wanna avoid that, and then slowly come in. Good, do one on your own. Resist, resist, resist. And I don't know if you can see it, but this knee alignment looks so much better. Good, and then come on in and relax, good. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.